I can't emphasize this enough. You can't fix your shoulder unless you fix your breathing. If you're breathing in, pulling air in from here, elevating your rib cage, not using your diaphragm and expanding your rib cage, then you will tighten here and disconnect your shoulder blade from your body, your rib cage. You'll also find your neck is tight and restricted. You'll find when you reach, you drive through here and it's only a matter of time until your rotator cuff doesn't like it anymore. And then worse, what I'm seeing are rib cages that look like they belong to asthmatics. They are short and elevated and I have to push them down. That is because again, you're pulling in with these muscles instead of using your diaphragm. So let's fix your breathing. Step one, diaphragmatic breathing. This means your core is off and we're gonna see, do you have the control, the capacity to breathe in with just your diaphragm, not your head, your neck, your shoulders. So one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. I want zero movement under this upper hand, nothing. So turn everything off up there. And when you breathe in, I want a big, messy Buddha belly breath. Looks like this. expansion of the belly. So no core, just seeing, can you even find your diaphragm without using these muscles? Just a side note that diaphragmatic breathing where you don't have core on is a lovely tool, but it is not optimal breathing. Optimal breathing, you do need to integrate core. Step two, I want to know, can you breathe out all of the way? Because the breath out fully is when we position the diaphragm so that it is in a dome shape and can actually work. So I want you to practice that full breath out. This requires your core, your abs, and it should be long. Long, 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 long. Breathing out, 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 out. Empty all of yesterday's air out of your chest. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Find that tension and the ridge should be down and back. Then when you can't breathe out anymore, go really easy on the inhale. Don't lose that anchoring that you just got. Most humans are exhalation restricted. So step two is all about the exhale. Step three, let's put it all together. Number one, keep trying to get the head, the neck, the shoulders out of it, heavy through the head into that pillow. Okay, step two, promise me you will not lose that anchoring of the ribs down by your ab wall. You've gotta have tension in here. And then when you breathe, what you should find are two things. One, you're gonna get expansion of your entire rib cage, back body, side body, even in the front, but you're not gonna get elevation where you lose the anchoring of the ribs by the ab wall and elevate the chest. The other thing you will notice if you do this right is that 360 degrees around your abdomen, you get an increase in pressure on the breath in. So if you have your thumbs in your kidney area, your fingers, placed around your abdomen, when you breathe in, you're not gonna see that messy belly breath that we saw with the diaphragmatic breathing, but you will feel an increase in pressure because that core is resisting the pressure that the diaphragm is throwing down on it. And that is optimal breathing. Okay, nice work. There is a lot going on there. If you have questions, throw them in the comments below. Hi there, I'm Michelle from Movement 101. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you would like more content like this, go down to the first link in the description below. And of course, to get this information out there, it does help to click like, hit subscribe, and make a comment. And let's make sure your body is built to last. Thanks for watching.